talk about how you can use the associate with nearby text option in order to make sure that we are capturing information even if it is found in different places. I will be creating this agent using the footlocker.com website. I'll begin by creating an item list. First I will click on the first item in the list followed by the next item and then give my product list a name. After I've created my product list I will click on the first item in the list this will navigate to the individual product page. On this page I would like to capture the product number as well as the price. By holding down control I can then select the text that I would like to capture. First I will capture the text for the price. After I've selected it I can give this text a name and then click OK. Next I will capture the product number. You will notice that when I highlight over and try and capture the product number it, it will make me capture the entire block of text. This is okay. We can use the refine capture text option in order to make sure that we are only capturing the information we want. First I will use the price. I would only like to capture the information that follows the price and then the, co the colon. Next I will change the information so that I only capture the product number. You can see that the agent builder is looking for a colon, then a space, and then it will capture all the information into the column product number. Next I will click on the action and go to refine item location. This will give me three different options. First I can reassign the current location, I can add an alternate location, or else I can associate this with nearby text. I will associate with nearby text. After I have selected this action, I can highlight over the text that I would like to associate, in this case the price. When I left click on the price in order to tell the agent builder what I would like to capture, the agent builder will then capture the entire block of text. Occasionally this happens. When this happens, we want to change the associate with nearby text option so that instead of equaling a text, it will begin with. I can then delete the price. This tells the agent builder to look for the word price and then a colon. Wherever it finds the word price and a colon on a page, it will then capture the information that follows it. I can also do this with the product number. After I have selected my product number action and then clicked on associate with nearby text, I will capture the text that I would like to associate with. You'll notice that when I place my mouse over the product number, only the product number is highlighted. In this case I can use the equals example. After I've selected save, I can see that the information is shown in blue that is associated. Next I will go back to my item list and click on new item. You can see that automatically the agent builder recognizes which information has been associated and it has been shown in blue. Associating with nearby text is a very useful feature.